It's the gift that keeps on giving. Rhino Crunch here today. Now, I know it's going to be really hard to top yesterday's video for a while because of those clutch those clutch moments in yesterday's uh, duo squad. But me and Bodusky have been having an absolute blast in this game mode. The gold only mode. It's the great equalizer. And keep in mind, guys, we are a duo and we're playing squads. So I hope you enjoy today's video. And if you'd like to see keys in tomorrow's video, make sure to like this video. And I'll, uh, I'll send you guys some keys in the video. Keys will be hidden in this video as well. So good luck on those. Let's get right into it. You got a weapon yet? Here, here, here. I got a shield. Yeah, I got a scar. I got a half shield. All right. I got a chug jug, though. Here, trade me. Here, oh, use it. Here, I'm going to drop it. All right. Got another half shield for you. All right. Perfect. Here. Someone's dancing. I'm pushing. South. Yeah, might as well use it. We're in tilted. There's guys in uh, Trump, I think. That's where they're camping out at. As soon as I'm done with this, we can push. Your trap, yeah. yeah. Up top, yeah, I think they're up top. I don't know, man. Let's get a pop. This, this guy's trolling. Down below. Let's see this guy. They're both lit. Behind. Back up the way we came. Right, or where? Me. Where? Where? He's uh, in this house I'm at, uh, second floor. On third. Behind us in the building. Got him. Well, rope the dope gone. <laughs> yeah, I did. I I flanked around and that was awesome. Woo! <laughs> you got <any> shields? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a baby. Oh no, it's a uh, slurp. Nothing like mopping tilted with four kills. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says America like tilted. Only a squad dead. Good push towards Greasy. If yeah. you're down, down, down. Yeah, I want to get out of here. Yeah, me too. This is how I feel every time I mop tilted. It's just GTFO. 
There's a shield or a chest below me right there. Right here. Straight up this valley right here. Some, I think they landed Greasy. Uh, we were gonna hit Greasy, so I don't know. It's kind of far. I mean, we're gonna be able to hold the line if they do push this way. The other thing too is they might have pushed towards uh tilted. Or shifted, uh, shifty, I mean. Um, I don't think he got hit. Pretty sure it didn't get hit. If it did, they pushed north or south. All right, let's hit let's hit uh, the mine shaft then. We'll do that, or north of the mine shaft, I should say. Towards that, that's really close. Wow, has no one discovered this yet? You can zoom with the sniper like this. Wow, I, I had a rhythm going on that. It was way faster than it normally shoots. Rocket launcher or GNL. Wow, I can't believe I haven't seen more people. This is nutty. I just need a shield. Oh, uh, someone built up on the northwest. Uh, ow. Ew. This guy seriously pushing us? You got him? No, 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 no. He's pushing us. Almost done. Well, I just got sniped. Now they're really pushing us. Two of them east. They're both pushing. You're safe. One's they're in the white, dude. You should be able to get me. They're not pushing yet. They're both in the same spot. Got a health kit and there's a slurp juice behind you. All right. Yeah, he's he's healing up on that. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going for the aggressive play. How? Knocked one. Oh! Hey ho! Let's go. Build me in and pick me up, poor favor. That was nice. Good. That guy was a good sniper. We got to be careful because, yeah, there you go. I'm just worried about that north end. 17 seconds, but we got a slow circle. Yeah, I'll go see what they got. All right. 
You got any shields or nah? Nah. Or uh, what's we call it? No. Dude, dude. Should be a grenade launcher and a uh, auto sniper maybe. Any extra ammo? Oh yeah. You need an AR? Yeah. And some grenades. If you have any extra, I got one. Yeah, put, put in ten. Beautiful. One mag there. Uh you wanna rotate? Let's get up on oh, this hill. Coming right now. Guys building on east. Building. Coming behind you. I'm a little bit. I'm a little far. It's our corner building. Oh, it is. Is it grenade range? Yeah. You think? Uh, probably get a little bit closer. Oh yeah, it's metal. Look at that. Yeah, we could. Uh, I think it'd be worth it to wait until they get on the ground. Or we could build back over towards our old base. Do that. How did that not knock him, dude? Oh, I'm building over. They're going downstairs. Oh, let's see you. What's got our team, Mark? Got a rocket launcher. I'll take a shot, something from the northwest. There's a bolt here. Do you want it? Yeah, let's come get it. Northwest, we gotta go anyways. Do we have a jump pad? No. Nah. Trying to show our build up. Guys on uh, other side of the lake here. See him? You got that sniper? Yep. They're in trouble over there. We should get a little closer. Shoot. Yeah, they're, we're going to sandwich these guys right now. It's not moving. Hit one. We got to go. Building into a bow. Knock one up there. Let's watch behind us. Can we get that loot? Can we get that loot? Yeah. Let me go back and get it. There's a jump pad there. Ah! Rockets.
shooting inside the quarry down there. You want to jump over to that? Oh, I see where they're shooting. I wish I would have got a sniper. Oh, they're pushing towards us. Or baiting us, one or the other. He's in the white, bro. He's in the white. Crap. Did you? Oh yeah, I see. I see. I'm gonna shoot rockets. If we break that thing, it'll... Knock the other one. I don't know where this guy shot me from. Inside, uh, he's west at the brick building. Tall one. Or the wooden ramps that he hit All me right. Oh yeah, I see him. Wait, that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's the last one. Where is he shooting from? I don't even see the shot. Yeah. Whoa, I knocked down the other one. Uh, yeah. Put a uh, jump pad behind us. Did you? Yeah. Crap. I don't even know how I knocked. Oh, how, how did how they keep getting picked up? I'm, my math is like terrible or something. I don't know. They're gonna. This is gonna be interesting. How many. One's pushing the water northwest. How did they get picked up? Knocked him again. Jump over towards them. Wait, 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 wait. Let's play smart. Let's pancake it. Or if we're going to do that, we got to coordinate it with the rocket attack. So you can't see us jumping. Yeah. Block that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, go, go, go. Ready, 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 ready? They're all yeah. there. They're go, go, go. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, baby. Bo, we are like, dude, this is crazy. They <sighs> need to keep this game mode forever. Yeah, they need to keep this game mode forever for sure. And that's it. That's all I have for you, boys and girls. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. I feel like uh, I'm getting back to where I was when I took that break. I got pretty rusty and I'm starting to get on point again. And we're going to be live streaming soon. Make sure to follow my Facebook page. 
Um, we are going to be live streaming on Facebook every day, five days a week, two hours a day. And this will help me develop my craft. It'll help me get back in the groove of live streaming. It'll help me kind of conquer my fear of being live and watched and pressure and all that stuff. So that'll be cool. And so make sure to like the Facebook page if you want to see me go live. And also probably send notifications out on YouTube. But besides that, let's continue our series. I started a series yesterday, The Seven Miracles of Christ. The reason I started this series is because, as some of you may know, Thomas Jefferson, the third American president, didn't believe in the miracles of Christ. And us as Christians, believers, we approach the Bible holistically. We look at the whole thing and we faithfully follow it, not the bits and bobs we like the best. So with that being said, we it was inspiring for me to do this series and and do these seven miracles of Christ and learning about God and learning about the miracles he performed. So let's get right into it. We're going to be in the book of John, chapter 4, verse 46. Once more he visited Cana in Galilee, where he had turned the water into wine. And there was a certain royal officer whose son lay sick at Capernaum. When this man heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went and begged him to come and heal his son, who was close to death. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. The royal official said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied, your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. While he was still on the way, his servants met him with the news that his boy was living. When he inquired as to the time when his son got better, they said to him, Yesterday at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. Then the father realized that this was the exact time at which Jesus had said to him, your son will live. So he and his whole household believed. This was the second sign Jesus performed after coming from Judea to Galilee. Now, I really like this miracle because this miracle, it shows God's almost predestination. Like he knew, he knew he was going to heal the son. He knew the exact moment it was going to happen, but... It also shows God's ability to work and leave doubt, right? Because I feel like God, God will do a lot of things in our lives, but there has to, there has to remain a level of doubt. And I've talked a little bit about this before. And the reason I believe that this level of doubt remains is because if there was no doubt, there would be no free choice. There would be no free will, right? If the sky ripped open right now and Jesus Christ and all his glory and all the horses and angels of God came down to heaven and stood before all of creation and said, bow to me. I can't imagine there would be a lot of people that wouldn't do that, <laughs> right? Like, I don't know. There, there's going to be some for sure, but I think that that powerful experience, that powerful miracle of in your face it's kind of hard to have a free will decision uh, on whether you believe in God or not when it's that in your face uh, type of experience or reality, right? So God leaves doubt. And even this, this uh, it says he was a royal official. Even this royal official, it says he believed, but he could even have some doubt as to, well, that's kind of strange. That's kind of coincidence. And I've talked about coincidence before. God likes to work in coincidences to remain his anonymity. That's a, that's a quote by Einstein, which I love, but it's kind of a coincidence that as he was talking to Jesus, his son was healed. So what if he would, what if he waited 15 more minutes and didn't talk to Jesus? Would his son be healed or would he not be healed? The point is, is God leaves that doubt so that we may have the free will choice to believe or not believe. And I think that's really important. I think that's really important. God does a lot of wonderful things in our lives and he sits back and he kind of sees how and who and where we give our credit to. Is it my, is it my choice? Is it my free will? Is it mine? Or is it God's work in my life? So that's it. That's all I have for you today. That is the message for today. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm enjoying this series. So unfortunately, I really don't care if you're enjoying it. <laughs> no, I do care. But like, I love this. I love having um, the time and the uh, resources to research this stuff and actually come up with cool series. It's, you know, these daily uploads, sometimes it gets really hard for me to kind of 
think about how I'm going to approach the end of my videos. Um, but lately, I've been really thinking about you guys a lot, and I've been trying to come up with interesting and creative ways to share God's word. And I think this is a great way to do it. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. And if you're not, oh, freaking well, because we got five more days to go. And hopefully I'll see some of you in the next five days. And I will catch you tomorrow on tomorrow's episode. Peace and God bless. He's building up. Nice. I'm building up. Right behind you. Yep, I got him. I'm knocked on me, on me, on me. He's reloading. I was trying to I'm stuck with that, that ramp. You put a ramp about me? <laughs> me? No, he built up to me. Maybe I did. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All the thing I could do was like turn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Locked you in. Bo, why don't you help me, man? <laughs> like, I'm trapped, dude. Somebody <laughs> built a ramp on top of my head. <laughs>